Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the final pin. This is a horror game made by a developer who has made several games in the past that I have thoroughly enjoyed. So I wanted to check out their latest project, and this one is very cool. It is a game about a detective who's trying to solve the case of a serial killer. So the gameplay revolves around finding evidence, figuring out what the motives are of this crazy killer, and obviously ultimately figuring out who it is. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Serial killers are not monsters lurking in the shadows, but human beings living among us. Among us? Hiding in plain sight. They are the embodiment of our darkest fears and the most twisted desires, reminding us that the line between good and evil is often razor thin, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 1968. Oh, oh baby. Hello, we're in the old times, as you can see by the video stop. Why are you so excited tiny? Excited for your first day? Voice acting? Excited for your first, yeah? Uh, how do I click enter? Clicking spacebar. Okay, spacebar. Yeah, I hope I can make a good first impression. What the hell is that tiny guy? You'll do great, dad. Oh, it's Kevin, of course. Thanks, buddy. Good luck, sweetie. What the hell? Why do you look so scary? I don't know why. Your head is like flat as, as paper. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave. Exit house. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm just going to walk into the shadows. <laughs> the kid looks, yeah, the kid looks buff as hell. He's a Chad. One month later, I went to get milk. Oh, reserved parking. I got this like weird vision around my, I guess we're watching this on an old television. Is that what's going on? Oh, we're a police officer, of course. That's a long commute. <laughs> we must be in the US, huh? Enter uh, crime scene. Talk to him. Oh, hey, you're new, right? I don't remember, this is, I don't remember if the shopping list is voice acting, maybe. Yeah, this is the first crime scene I've been at. Oh, well then. That means you and I will be crime scene partners for God knows how long. Crime scene partners? Is this uh, Shadows of Doubt? Anyways, oh, cool. You arrived just in time. This was one weird ass crime scene. When the victim's body was rolled over, it revealed this strange symbol. I haven't seen anything like it before. I think it could mean something. Go get my camera from the car. We need okay. a photo of this. Uh, I don't see a symbol. It's just all bot or all blood, but okay. Exit crime scene real quick, if you don't mind. I have to go through a loading screen to go over the thing. Is it in the back or? Okay, here. Uh-huh. Right click for camera mode. What's over here, by the way? Uh, welcome to Cold Harbor Bay. Parking charges, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the blood is... Wait, the bird? Oh, the blood is in a bird shape. I thought it was just... I thought it was just a blood trail. You're totally right. Ooh. Get a three-star dead body photo real quick. Murder begins where self-defense ends. What is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> that is... What? The final pin, here we go. <laughs> Killer leaves crow trademark. They took a photo of that and put it in the papers? Are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? 1969 is nice. Oh. Time is moving fast. Let me guess, this is happening year after year? Five die in ritual killing sensation. It's 1981, 20, 24 AM, 8, 24. Hey there, detective. Some of your partners need a helping hand in the apartment building on Ash Street. The guy should be waiting for you in apartment room 311 with some insight on the situation. Over. It's fucking CJ. <laughs> CJ, you, <laughs> what the hell? What's going on here? Is is a horror game guy, dude. <laughs> What the hell? I was not expecting that. I should get in my car. 
Let's go. <laughs> that was fucking. I got a. I got a brain freeze right there. What, what? What was he saying? I didn't even listen to what he was saying because I got so stunlocked right there. I need to get something from the car. <laughs> Enter vehicle. He got promoted. Zirconics, thank you for the thirty. Oh, here we go. Wait, I actually get to drive the whole thing. I'm gonna crash it immediately. Okay, that wasn't very. I thought it was gonna like explode. Oh, we got a way more. <laughs> I'm gonna go Japan style. This is tough. This is. I don't know where we are. We're probably in the US, but who knows? I'm just gonna drive on the left side of the road. Is this bothering you? <laughs> Immersion ruin. These people need to learn from my Shadows of Doubt playthrough. If they really haven't caught this killer yet, they should have called me, man. Park. I want to play more Shadows of Doubt. I can't believe they still haven't fixed the Twitch integration for that game. It's the game's been out for like almost half a year. I still haven't fixed it. <laughs> Enter building. Room 311 is what he said. Okay, thank you. All right, knock, knock. I'm coming in. Thanks Hi. for getting here so quickly. It's Tony again. We have a little crime scene situation in here. A little crime scene situation. The only one situation. who would notice anything unusual during the suspected time of the crime is the neighbor one floor below. Below? Apartment room 211. I guess they I just heard. need you to go down there and try to get as much information as possible from the lady. Get back here afterwards and we'll leave you alone to photograph some evidence. Okay. That lady is a bitch. Just saying, bro. I just makes me want to play more Shadows of Doubt again. <laughs> this is like exactly why I love that game. Because the, the beauty of that game is that unlike in this game where it's like scripted, in that game you get into these murder scenes and every time um, you have to figure out yourself how to solve the case. It's so good. Like the way that game randomly generates the murder cases is amazing. They're doing a pretty major update relatively soon, I think. Oh, I'm definitely going to be doing another uh, playthrough of Shadows of Doubt. Who is there? I'm with the police. I just have some questions for you, if that's all right. If this was really America, the next thing she would say was, I have the right to remain silent. I will not be talking to the police. That, that, you're breaking my whatever number amendment. How many fucking amendments are there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to Make shit on the constitution over here. Make it quick. I'm busy cutting my toenails. I'm <laughs> busy cutting what a voice. What happened? Do you know what happened in apartment room 311? There's 27 amendments. Does everyone know all the amendments? Or is there like one amendment out there that's like, thou shalt not wear shoes on a Sunday. <laughs> like there's gotta be some silly amendments, right? <laughs> oh yeah, some lad was stabbed by his girlfriend because he wanted to break up. The lad was stabbed by his girlfriend because he wanted I to break up? I said that bastard deserved it. <laughs> he listened to that disgraceful heavy metal at max volume. My ears are too delicate for that shit. For <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Uh, do you know anything about the girl? Did you know this man? How old did you know this man? Or did you know anything about the girl? That's more interesting for us. Do you know anything about the girl? No. I just know that she has a sweet ass. <laughs> I just know that she has a sweet ass. <laughs> did you know this man? Oh, I sure did. Sure did. I found smoking the devil's lettuce with my grandson once. Devil's lettuce. He's lucky that I'm old. Otherwise, I would have given that stone or the old stone to the cranium myself. Jesus. How old was he? He was 23 years old. 23? But he stank like an 87 year old for sure. All right, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. Piss off. Piss off? The fuck, dude. <laughs> Marker serve. The voices in this game are hilarious. All right, I'm going back. All right, I'm gonna talk to the cops. Dude, this is a seamless, seamless elevator door. It's completely solid. Hello, buddies. I got some news. I know that this crime scenes scare me sometimes. Do they? Granny's going ham. What is this room? Like who made, why are you living here? This is insane. 
Add some furniture, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, that's a bloody mask. I'm gonna take a photo of that bad boy. Murder mask! Why would you leave the murder mask? This seems like that is a bit weird for the inspect. This water has been sitting here for a while. How do you know that? I guess you can feel the temperature, but you the toilet has not been flushed. Flush the toilet, please. Uh, what the fuck is that picture? What in the chat GPT is this? Creepy painting, you don't say. Oh, how did you know there's three evidence? Huh? Oh, blood. A huge handprint. Victim's bloody handprint. He's got huge hands. My sensitivity. I just wish to leave, please. Don't touch the sensitivity. That's the only setting there is in the game, by the way. You can only change the mouse sensitivity. That's all you need. Nothing else. We got fingies, guys. Might be a poltergeist. And then we have a bloody knife, of course. Murder weapon. Check it for DNA. That's it. Where are the other cops, man? Hello? Operonis? What? Imagine living in this apartment, by the way. Just <laughs> completely empty. Oh, hi. Thanks for the help. You can report what you found involving this crime at another time. It's not that big of a priority right now. He's fucking dead, though. Anyways, go home and get some rest, my man. It's not a priority. What is this? This is too real. This is the actual police. <laughs> you deserve it. Okay, then. This is what the 1980s look like. Yes. It's just like, ah, it's just a murder case. If it doesn't involve at least 17 bodies, we don't even blink an eye. <laughs> maybe it was the cops. Yeah, that is very sus. Maybe the maybe Tony. Tony is the serial killer. I'm cracking the case. I have cracked the case. Of course. What what do all these crime scenes have in common? Tony is always there. Hmm? I'm telling you. He's the one. Maybe it's me. But so are you. Yeah, maybe it's me. Oh, I am not driving. Do I drive now? I do drive now. I love the freaking mechanic in L.A. Noir. Oh, God, my parking job is just park it. <laughs> I just park it out here. I love the facial expressions in that game. It's hilarious. Uh, I did not park like that, but all right. Enter my empty house, probably. Evan. Um. Heaven's room. Knock, knock. Uh, my bedroom is a little dark. Dude, this is weird as hell. They really should have made these houses smaller. I don't know why the dev made these houses so big if he wasn't going to put anything in it. All right, I guess I'm going, I'm going in the darkness. The darkness of my bedroom. Hey, sp space is nice, though. Space is underrated. Many people just put shit everywhere, not valuing the space that they have. I miss sleeping next to her. Wait, what? Did it say that? Feels bad, man. Did she get murdered by the by Tony? Tony Pizza? Tony Pizza strikes again. We're going back in time, 1963. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're going like back and forth, I see. Oh hey honey. Hi. You came home just in time. I think little old Kevin is a tad bit hungry. Go give him his bottle, will ya? He's a, he's a baby. Baby, baby time. Is it going to be a baby with massive shoulders? Oh no, he's just got normal shoulders. Normal, it's actually. I don't know if this baby looks weird. He's got like a full torso. <laughs> he's so buff, dude. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? Oh. What was that, man? Why, how did I, how was I going to feed him the bottle? Put it on his forehead. Time. Wake the fuck up, detective. Tony apparently needs some help. ASAP. He probably doesn't need it, but I don't make the rules here. He's waiting for you on the side of the road by Pebble Lane. Over. 
Let's go. Um, uh, it's Tony again. I'm telling you, Tony is killing these people. If it's not Tony, it's gotta be me. Oh, there. Tuesday, 6.20 a.m. Is there a dead body with an eagle sign or pro sign over here? He's got a calling card and everything. This is the easiest case to solve in Shadows of Doubt. You guys suck. All right, so this is what went down. Some mother's kid went missing when chasing her dog, who was apparently chasing a crow. I saw the crow. According to the mother, the dog went as far as to run into a sewer entrance to catch up to the crow. Okay. So our guess is that the kid also went in there and got lost in the tunnels. Okay. And then they got murdered? I think you know what you need to do. I think I do. Okay, let's go into sewers. Enter sewers. I'm gonna be stinky from this point onwards. Is she close? Thank you for the 10. <clears throat> okay. That is a big sewers. Shift to sprints. This is stinky. Why did to wait? Why did I have to do this and not Tony? By the way, he he just what the hell? <laughs> it was like I think you know what you have to do. You were the first on the scene. Why didn't you have to do it? Why do I have to do this shit? Because you're the one who killed him, huh? It doesn't make any sense. Tony is like self-reporting. He's like reporting. You reported the body because you killed him. Why did the dog? How did the dog? So the dog was. So let me get this straight. The dog was chasing a crow. The crow went into the sewers that were closed, presumably because they were on the middle of the road. A strange hole. Um. And then the dog went into the magical hole as well. And then the kid as well. How? How did all of this happen? Oh, hi there. Okay, we finally reached something that was like... Ah! You son of... Don't let him escape! Police, get on the ground! Stop right there, you criminal scum! Do I even have a gun? Do I have a taser? Um... Was that the kid or was that a murderer? He looked like he had a ma mask on and he had like a weapon. Lemur, thank you for the sub. I think he was way faster. I gotta get my cardio in, man. Gotta, oh, hi. What have I done wrong, officer? Nothing, you're just running around in the sewers all sussy wussy like. What the hell are you doing down here? I live here. Oh, <laughs> that's depressing. <laughs> All right. Have you by any chance met anyone else down here? A young girl. And hopefully with a dog as a well. Dog? I haven't seen any girl, but I can occasionally hear a dog barking in these tunnels. Dude, I love the accent. <laughs> You're right. Well. Speak of the devil. All right, I, I get it now. I know that the dog sure as hell responds to whistles. If you track down where the sound comes from by whistling, you might find the right path to the kid you're talking about. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, then. I won't handcuff you since I feel bad for you. Why would you even handcuff him in the... I guess you're not allowed to be down here, but that's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> yeah, I won't tase you because I feel bad. Wait, you were going to tase me? Excuse me. Snip. Snip chain links. Snip, snip. But how would you be able to sleep here? Like, if you sleep in the water, you fucking drown. If you sleep up here, you're going to roll in the water. Seems impossible. I have, I'm snipping. Snip, snip, snipping. With what? Am I snipping it, by the way? I do not know. All right, goodbye, Bail. You are a little suspicious, though, that you're on the scene of a crime. I'm biting it. All right, whistle. How do I whistle? I'm pressing E, space, F, G. It probably told me. Okay, this way. Woof, woof. G for Gissel. 
Ah. Uh, getting kind of confusing in here. Oh, crow! It's the killer crow. What if the bird did it the whole time? It's a bird killer? Um... Why wouldn't Bill live here? This seems way nicer. Oh, God. Valve time? I can't move them. Oh! Hey, bus, man. What the fuck? Are we playing Dead by Daylight over here? What is this? <laughs> Excuse me. Freaking mini game. Oh. That's small. That is like actual Dead by Daylight. Boop. Nice. He's done it. This seems dangerous. Hello? Oh, we're going back to circle mode. Is that blood? I think that may be blood. It's getting more and more red. You know, red means scary. Oh, am I going the wrong way? It's Pennywise. I've never watched the... The It movies. I don't need to watch those. I heard the first one's good. The second one... I don't know. I, I don't... People... Something smells weird. You're in the sewers, my guy. It's poop. It's puke, poop, shit, and piss. And you're walking through it. And probably some other... Ungodly hurry to the exit. Uh, I'm being. Uh, why is there just like gas valves all around? Did death by gas? What do you mean, death by gas? Excuse me? Why is this in the sewers? What kind of fucking sewers are these? Oh god, I gotta snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. 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 I'm dead. I'm death by gas. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna perish. I'm never gonna be able to make it. It's all over. How was I supposed to be able to do that? Wait. Oh my god, come on. Come on. Let's go! Holy shit, that was actually <laughs> fucking insanely close. That was probably scripted. <laughs> or that was just really lucky. Oh, hi there. I can't whisper anymore. Or whistle. What the fuck? Please, get me it's out. Lisa! I want to go home. Don't worry, I'm here to get you out. There should be a valve around here that you can turn to open I the exit. I tried turning the valve, but it just won't turn. Hey there, I'll check it out. Thank you. Doggy! Look at the shake ball! Oh my god, that's adorable. This is lost in vivo now. Hi. Why do all the children look like old people? It's cat food. You found rust remover. Why did I find a rust remover in the cat food? Is that is there something I don't know here? Oh. Is cat food secret? Oh, I missed that, but it still counted. How'd that work? Oh, they did it. You're so bad at this, by the way, idiot. I'm just kidding. You were just a child. Uh, do you want to come with me? Hello? I open it. Please. Am I not going to tell them that I open it? I'm just going to leave? That doesn't seem right. All right, then. Here we go. Yeah, they all got such crazy jaw lines. <laughs> ah, there you go. Were you aware of how far you were running into the sewers? Let me guess, no. I didn't think I was going that far when I was chasing Max. I need to be more aware of my surroundings. Yes. Also, why did you do that in the first Get place? Get in! Your mother's worried sick! Okay. It's a square pothole. Yeah, how was she able to go through the fences in the first place? Wait a minute. There's something not adding up here. Can we keep the dog? That's not my dog. Oh, there's a crow again. I love these semi-open world horror games. 
They're like my favorite type of horror game. They're way more immersive. It's house time. Is this in the normal time? So wait. No, this is back in the 80s probably. So everyone's dead except Kevin probably. But he might as well be dead. But those alone, 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 alone. Feels bad, man. Is Kevin not alive? I think Kevin is dead. <laughs> I mean, you would feel even more alone if you had a house this empty. Like, good God. I can't wait for... My house is going to be so empty for so long. I'm literally going to just, like, buy a bed ASAP. Get a desk ASAP. And then I just, like, don't care for a while. <laughs> I'm going to get, like, dining chairs, I guess. <laughs> as long as I have a bed and a desk, I'm fine. <laughs> Internet? Yeah, internet is the first thing. I'll buy internet before I even get my fucking bed. <laughs> I already got AC. Oh I already have a fridge. God. The fridge is built in. Uh, and there's the, the fridge uh, is left behind. Uh, oh my god. And there was this crow symbol painted in the victim's that blood. That sounds really disturbing. Yes. Do you really think this line of work is good for you? I want to be the one to solve this case. Well, that didn't work out, did it? I want you and Kevin to feel safe and protected. If you say so. And then they died. <laughs> this is me when playing Shadows of Doubt. It's just my calling. I am made for this. This is actually like for sure gonna make me play Shadows of Doubt again. I've been holding off. I just, I think I just need to give up on the- Come in, detective. Oh. Tony and Carlos are waiting for you by the Sandy Shore Beach for some kind of examination. Let's go. Tony's honestly weirding me out a bit. He could just do it himself, but he's been making you do his work for a while now. Well, I couldn't care less. That's what I'm saying. Get over there. Now. That's what I was okay. saying. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, the update is supposed to be this month. Okay, I'll wait until the major update. Because I like I've kind of given up on the Shadows of Doubt devs. Like, not saying that they're bad devs. They obviously made an incredible game, but good god are they slow. Like, you thought the Phasmo devs were slow making an update once every half a year? These devs have, like, they release a game and there's, like, two bug fixes since it came out. That's it. Nothing uh, else. So you're the swimmer guy the cops have talked about. Swimmer guy? Yeah, you're here to dive and retrieve some stuff underwater, right? Why doesn't he do it? <laughs> this is new information Well, that's for me. your job to figure out. Look, I don't know what you're doing here. But somebody's got to get the body out of there. And they're apparently waiting for specifically you. Ask your buddies what's going on. Dave they're the waiting diver. for you on the bridge. <laughs> now we're going to be playing. This is all the games I've played in, in this year. We're going to we, we go from Shadows of Doubt to Dave the Diver. <laughs> and then we end with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> and then some ghost hunting real quick. Hi, Tony. All right, look. Don't get mad at me. But I called you over here to do more than just to gather some evidence. I hate this guy. I'll explain more when we're there. Oh, hop in. Hop in. I hop on enter jet ski. I love these faces, man. Oni is so hopeless. He's definitely the serial hey, killer, like 100%. Last one to the car scene pays for lunch. Like, I don't know. <laughs> What was that laugh? Yeah, there's some evidence. All right, oh, so the diving squad was busy and we need someone to retrieve a body. And oh. you're good at doing shit, so that's why I called you. I've told you, I'm terrified that's of diving. That's why I had to trick you into coming here. What the fuck? Is that's an insane psychopath. What the fuck is wrong with you? Just follow the rope and everything will be all right. Is something wrong with Carlos? Look at this dude. Is this a man? <laughs> the fuck, man? I've got your swimming gear right here. <laughs> Why does he look so damn cute, dude? <laughs> Quip, fine. Not fine. This is freaking workplace abuse, man. All right, sure, I'm diving. <laughs> Looks so cute. Yeah, he looks. He looks more like a child than Kevin ever did. Maybe he's my child. It's Dave the diver time. Follow the rope. Oh, I hate this. I don't. No, no. Come on. 
There's gonna be a giant fish. Oh. What? Breathe slowly to stay conscious? What do you mean? I'm I'm holding the button, it's not breathing. Oh god. I'm br I'm holding it. I'm I think I'm doing this correctly. Breathe to stay alive. I mean, you usually don't have to do that in a video game, imagine. Just a video, like you play GTA 5 and you have to manage your breathing. <laughs> Retrieve the body. Why is it in a freaking... Oh, I got a screwdriver. That'd be so annoying. Unscrew. Unscrew. Isn't that supposed to be one word? <laughs> this does not look right. <laughs> Screw. Dad, Kimmy, thank you for the 23. What is screaming at me, by the way? I've already said this many times, but my favorite type of like YouTube video or like horror YouTube video used to be like underwater sounds that have been recorded. There's just something so cool about it. Like a, like a whale sound underwater. Amazing. Terrifying. Uh, that's a body. Put in body bag. Okay, I did it. Oh. Oop. Face that. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What the fuck? Okay. What, what was I doing? <laughs> I was just spamming the space monkey. I'm not quite sure. All right then, sure. Oh, Ooh, that's a stinker. What the hell? It's just... That's what you say to a dead body? That's a stinker, dude. Oh, God, that's gross. What the fuck, Tony? You're so useless. Have a look at the body. Maybe he had something on him. Search body. Water Ooh, bottle. I'm thirsty now. Don't drink the water bottle from the dead body body <laughs> for the love of god he's got a gun very weird looking trigger though what the hell oh oh man i knew i recognized him from somewhere that's connor fucking geller his, his name is connor fucking geller that doesn't seem like it he only be lived allowed. a few meters from the beach you should go and have a peek around his house for any pointers to the situation. Carlos can take you back to the shore. Connor F. Geller. <laughs> you don't want to know what the F stands for. <laughs> could you just name yourself like... Could you name yourself like fucking bitch? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is there like a, a law against calling yourself like... <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> you just like every time you fill in some <laughs> official form, you have to write down that shit. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what I was doing. I got distracted by my own meme, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna take you for a ride. Excuse me. Carlos. <laughs> He's got the most insane laugh of all time. Carlos? <laughs> Are you gonna kill me? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I don't. He took me for a ride straight to my house. Excuse me. How'd you do that, Carlos? The jet ski doesn't even go here. It's it's on land, friend. It's a key. Kitty. I don't even know what's the ad for. It doesn't cat food probably? Maybe I can find something in the area that I can use to get over the gate. Uh, oh, there's a ladder. <clears throat> I'm just gonna steal this other person's ladder? I feel like that's not allowed, even... I feel like I am committing an offense. I'm gonna get arrested by another cop. But sure. Place the ladder. Add ladder. I love how everything in this game is just hold E. It's a single mechanic. It's all you need. Lock. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, of course. 
it's not one two three four it's under the rock of course zero five two nine okay then <laughs> zero five two nine easy <clears throat> anything back here nothing i am breaking do i have a warrant am i allowed to do this the door is locked maybe i can find the code to the oh yeah it's the keys right there thank you it seems highly illegal i've stolen someone's ladder i broke into someone's house without permission we probably got a search warrant because the guy fucking died but whatever uh it's very dark over there It's the same cat food as before. Suspicious. It's the breaker. Not a gin, guys. Rewire. How do I know how to... Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> that was not what I expected. Excuse me. What am I doing? Um, <clears throat> can I move these? Wait. What am I... Mo oh, I need Wait, huh? What, I what do I need to make go where? What are you talking about? This doesn't even attach. <laughs> uh, where am I? What am I trying to do? <laughs> this is so confusing. Wait, what? I think I can't do. Wait, I have to do this. D the corners are not connected to this, though. Do I have to? Just, huh? If that's what I'm supposed to do, this is very confusing. Let's see. Uh, maybe go through this. Go over here. Go there. This way. That was the dumbest. They should have had it the opposite. Whatever, it's fine. I, I figured it out, but that definitely did not make any sense. <laughs> okay, then. I love how they... I love how they just... Freaking throw that out there. No, no information, no explanation. Just solve the thing. Rewire. Do it. <clears throat> I'm... By the bridge tonight been stalking me, leaving notes by the door, yet I've never seen his face. I don't know what he wants from us, but I'm bringing my gun just in case. If I don't come back home, just remember, I love you, Sarah. Rip Connor. His son lives in a trailer park not too far away from here. I should head over there and see if I can talk to him about this. Okay. He's freaking dead. All these empty rooms. Oh, taking a photo. Um, of what now? The cat food? Uh, what are these, man? Is this what I need to take a photo of? Uh, I think I'm just supposed to take photos in general. Not necessarily of something. I definitely want to take a photo of the cat food. That is suspicious. And then I'm just gonna take a photo of how fucking empty this house is just to be like what the hell do you see this guy's house how is he living here there you go <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to do man <laughs> supposed to take pictures that's it later that day Wednesday uh, 922 the cricket sound what are you listening to sir i love the just random driving sessions i'm just gonna park out here in the middle of nowhere this doesn't seem like i could park here this seems highly illegal in the middle of the road someone's gonna crash into my car you've been saying search the trailer home there's just a single trailer home here oh no there's more knock knock No one is inside. Maybe they're sleeping. Did you think about that? This smells like shit. Maybe someone actually shit in there. All right, I'm going to knock all those, but I want to see this first. It's going to be like a missing poster. Holiday. Hey, never mind. I remember, I used to live in a place where there were like, uh, like kinder play places with like just houses like this. There would just be like a few houses like this in a row where you could sit down in 
it was really weird because <laughs> i was always like what are you supposed to do with this <laughs> like no one ever used them they were just sitting there i think we use this for hide and seek and that's about it no one is inside washing machine out here with a key in the washing machine I don't, I'm guessing this is the one I need to go into. Even the trailer homes are empty. Are you kidding me? It's empty? Oh, come on. I am searching everything. Shadows of Doubt style over here. Secret weapon stash. Wait a minute. Wait, this is, I'm exiting? Okay, I'm supposed to get a code somewhere. I don't have a coat. I'm just gonna check the neighbors first. Why do I come so unprepared? Wait, I could just enter this house? Excuse me? Oh, I didn't realize I could just knock on the door and then enter the house. Okay. This was actually the first caravan. <laughs> all the other ones are locked. Not this one, though. They all look the exact same. Aha, we get the drill, and now we can disassemble that other door. We can go in there. You see? I am just illegally seizing everyone's property. There's some weird sounds coming from this house. You hear this? The crying? The fuck? It's television. Are you kidding me? I've been dated? They all have the exact same couch placed in such a psychotic way. gotta be something in here like the code to the safe uh lock pick can we lock pick the safe or let me guess we gotta go into the other Wait. i guess i op open the it's this terrible feng shui yeah i never like is there just like an online guide to feng shui Or is it like very specific? The door is locked. Unlock it. Oh, <laughs> it's fucking. It's Skyrim, dude. You kidding me? There we go. <laughs> it's Skyrim over here. I still need to play Starfield. Is Starfield fun? I've heard good things about it. It's called Pinterest. Oh. Let me guess it's gonna have the code. Hey, Billy, guess it what? is one, two, three, four. With our weapon safe, and I got something exciting to share with you. Drum oh. roll, please. Never mind. The new code is 3117. Why'd I do this? Because leaving the code is one, two, three, four was a dumbass move, Billy. <laughs> I hope I could have gotten it. If we would if it wasn't for your meddling, I would have been in there already. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. Three. One, one, seven. Boom. Unlocks. Now I get a gun? Crowbar. I see. Of course, I knew there was going to be a crowbar in there. I could have just brought a crowbar or I could have called on like, hey, can I get some backup? I need a crowbar over here. But no, we go play vigilante justice over here. I should have probably closed that, huh? have closed the gun safe i'm gonna be shot now oh what the fuck uh that is a dead body it's chopped in pieces well then <laughs> the bird dot 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 photograph evidence I'm not gonna photo. I'm not gonna just walk away. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Boop. Three star dead body photo. Why are the feet so small? Your obsession for him grows stronger. Oh, because the bones are pulled out. What? That was it? Oh, wait, I can move. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was doing a cutscene. What the fuck? 
just says your obsession for him grows stronger dot 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 and i just leave um drive home why is the vision so blurry am i gonna be chasing me wait who even was that person that was that connor no connor was the one in the water right who the fuck was that what is going on? Take the gun? I can't take the gun. I tried. The sun? Honor sun. The hell? Feels bad, man. Rude. Driving down. Making my way downtown. Driving fast. Face is past. And I'm homebound. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Park here. Boink. Is this real? Yeah, this game is based on a real story, by the way. It's not. Don't worry about it. Especially the houses are based on a real story. I'm telling you, I'm still all in on Tony. Tony is the killer. Sleep on sofa. Because our trauma doesn't allow us to sleep in the empty bed anymore. Feels bad, man. Feels bed, man. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to come in here? Is Ke Kevin is real? I think Kevin is dead. I think Kevin and my wife are dead. Or Linda, I think was the name. 1978. We're going like not back this to is the, the fifth oh. time this week you've done this shit. We're literally begging you to stay. I barely even see you nowadays. I have my reasons. I'm this close to solving the crow killer case. I can't is your job really that more important than your fucking family? Yeah, the f I, 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 I should be uh, having more respect for the fucking family. <laughs> this obsession has nothing to do with your job anymore. You're doing this in your fucking spare time. Every <laughs> that was a throwback. You guys day. need to get with the program. It was a throwback to the joke from before where I said, "Wouldn't it be funny if your last name was fucking?" You, this is, I expect better of you guys. I expect a higher level of knowledge in this chat room. <laughs> I guess people came in and they were like, "What the fuck is this guy saying?" <laughs> You're doing this in your fucking spare time every single day. You two wouldn't understand. Okay. And yet you still don't care. I can't take this anymore. You should listen to the voice chat. <clears throat> Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> Fuck you too, Kevin. <laughs> this is this is our this is just what we say to each other in the fucking family. Come on, man. It's just the way we communicate. <laughs> Go for work. Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> Fuck hey, you, son. <laughs> detective, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I I just got a report from Carlos's husband. Uh oh. Carlos. Carlos has been killed. What? I need you to meet Carlos's husband in the interrogation room by the police station. What the hell, dude? Over. Feels bad, man. Dot dot dot. Carlos is dead, but he was. He had such a good laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll never hear his laugh ever again. The last he, he, he. Do not. That's why you gotta make sure to savor every he, he, he. Because you never know which he, he, he will be your last. All right, sorry. This guy died. It's, I shouldn't make jokes. Friday, 10 35. Up right now. This is not a joke game. This is a serious game. Why is every fucking... Is this like a joke? Or is the dev just like unable to fill environments? Like this feels so stupid. I... It wasn't that game... It wasn't that way in the shopping list. I don't remember that. Like what is the point of having a room this big? Like wouldn't it way, be way easier for the... For like making these levels to make everything like way smaller? This is so strange. Um, enter staff room. Interior design. Everything is just empty. Oh, hi there. Okay, this is where we're supposed to be. Hello. Sit down. This is the most insane looking interrogation room I've ever seen. What the hell are you trying? <laughs> this looks like the freaking 
This looks like a room straight out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre without like there's just add some hanging bodies to this and you got the slaughterhouse map. Hey there. Look, I know what has just happened is difficult for you to process right now. So much. What the heck? This feels bad, man. I do too. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. I won't take up too much of your Sounds time. Good. Sounds good. Uh, how old are you? How long were you? What is that's just freaking depressing. What's your name? My name is Dylan Lewis. Dylan Lewis fucking. Okay, thank you. Um, how old are you? 32 years old. These questions. We were together for 14 years. Feels bad, man. All right, now I have some personal questions for you. I just need you to answer these questions as detailed as possible. How was your relation? I, why would I ask this question? Or I guess we're maybe he could have killed him, right? How was your relationship with Carlos? Oh, it, was, it was just great. Flashback. What? They're dancing. What's going on? <laughs> oh, seven points out of nine. Not too shabby, Carlos. Beginner's luck. Let's see if you can beat his score. Oh, I have to beat the score. Uh, I shot it before I even pulled out the gun. What the fuck? Do I have infinite bullets? Dude, the way these moves is fucked. Shoot it. Just fucking spam. This is impossible. This game is rigged. It's rigged. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking NA aim over here. Looks like we have a winner. This is so the annoying. Goes to what if I would have won that? What if I would have just fucking wiped his ass? That would have been interesting. You suck at this game, man. Sure, oh, why are you so bad at shooting games, man? Fucking Dylan, you idiot. That wasn't me. That was Dylan. Did Carlos ever feel insane in his line of his line of work? No, not at all. I'd say it was the perfect fit for him. Oh, come on. Not again. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> the way he sits, why do they make him work? sit like this? That is so fucking stupid. I remember him being specifically <laughs> excited when you started working there. This is just how he sits, I guess. I remember him... Wait, I remember him being specifically excited when you started working. My with... day's been exciting. A new guy has started working with us. He's a detective. Let's and go. if we're lucky, he might work with me and Tony. Nice. It's I can't me. wait to get to know him. Dude, they're so nice. He sits like that every time. He said like that too when we were on the diving platform. We loved meeting new people. What is this depressing shit, by the way? Does your husband have any enemies? Not at all. I'd say the opposite. I'm gonna have a hundred friends. It's the guy from the sewers. <laughs> Do you got any spare change? It's freezing out here. I think you need something more than just spare change. Take my jacket. I don't want Aww. you to be cold. God bless you, sir. Let's go, Carlos. Hero. He was such a kind man. So, why did he get killed by Tony? What happened to Carlos? Hmm. What moments do you remember leading up to Carlos's Here's death? I can recall. Okay. Oh, I'm playing as Dylan. I remember him coming home very late one day. Knock, knock, knock. Wow. I'm home late. <clears throat> he just got some good news involving some crow killer case. I've got some new evidence involving the case I've been talking about. My colleague might be able to solve the case with this evidence. Let's go. And then he gets killed because of that. The next day, he came home even later. Do you have the key to your own house, Carlos? He doesn't hey. look happy. But this time he told me that he was scared. Like someone was watching him. W what's wrong? I think I'm being followed by someone. Um. 
the day after that, he he didn't come home at all. Uh oh. No knock. This is just gonna fade to black. That'd be so fun. Oh, never mind. Hellos? All right, I'm leaving. I'm gonna look for him. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally. I I, <laughs> I am just fading to black. <laughs> Oh wait, no, 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 I, I left the building. I'm looking for him. Where is he? Are you in the trash? Open dumpster. That's when I found him. Dead. Jesus! The fuck? Okay, this is messed up. I still can't get that crow symbol out of my head. I'm sorry to hear that. He said something about some evidence that he had found. Yeah, he, he found some... Big evidence, apparently. I don't know much about it, but I do know that some scientists are trying to confiscate the evidence or something. What? Aliens? Interesting. Well, Dylan, that's all the questions I had for you today. Harry, thank you for the nine. Or Carlos. Thank you for your time. And now please leave this depressing ass interrogation room. What is this? <laughs> this is like an intimidation Please, room. If you find this person, murder them! Kill him. <laughs> well, uh, excuse me? I can't do that. I'm a police officer. I didn't expect he would actually say that. He didn't strike me like the person who would just say, like, fucking murder his ass. Damn, dude. I need a drink. Me too, dude. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are the chances? <laughs> this is getting too real. Sips coffee. This game is fun. Beer lazy. Enter beer lazy. The game freaking knows they're watching me. I'm going to be the next victim from the of the crowd killer. No. Hi there. And speak to Berlin, your freaking whole city, my guy. Hey, long time no see. What can I give for you today, my man? The usual? Yes. And I, I didn't know they named Berlin after this dude. Can I just get sure. some alcohol? How much do you need? All of it. Give me as much as you're allowed to give me. Damn, you throwing a party, bro? Yes. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Dude, I love this voice acting. <laughs> Choose your payment amount. 16 bottles, 16 bottles of beer. Um, how much do you tip? You tip nothing right at a store, but I'm going to tip him $10,000. Here you go. Oh. I'll oh, see you around. You're just going to take my money? <laughs> and if you Hello. spot a chick with some smooth skin, Call your brother Berlin. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, dude, that's. <laughs> I love the voice. What does that even mean? I'm like, grab, grab the drinks before leaving. What does that mean? Smooth skin. I'm, I'm, I feel like I am missing something. Okay, where's the beer? Inspect. Expired candy. Get arrest this man. If we were a real cop, we would be like, uh. In order for us not to report that you're selling expired candy, give us beer for free. If I know anything about cops. Uh, which, where's the fucking beer? Is it not supposed to be on the shelf? Excuse me. Or did you? Oh, it is literally, he fucking packaged it for me. <laughs> I thought I was going to grab it myself, dude. On your dreams, thank you for the tier 327. Holy shit. Wait, he didn't even move though. How did he pack it for me? He didn't, he didn't lift a finger. It was just already there when we entered the, the building. I'm so confused. He's, he's like the Flash, dude. Don't ask any questions. Every time the crow here, man. He's just that good. This is the slowest car of all fucking time. You better hope the killer doesn't have like a a freaking Prius that can go faster than like 40 miles an hour because your ass is grass if that's the case Nope, thank you for the five 
Thank you for the five gift subs. Sit on sofa. I will sit on sofa. Sit. <laughs> Once again, press E. Yeah, for a thousand dollars. I just paid. The I love cope. <laughs> Copium. Sniff the spam space the chug. What? I'm chugging. I'm chugging. I shouldn't be drinking this much. I'm gonna die. This seems unhealthy. I don't think I can stop. Chugging. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> this is like a freaking, like a freaking college party over here. <laughs> This doesn't seem healthy, man. I think this is we're gonna you ignored their intervention. This is gonna become one of those chubby emu videos where it's gonna be like a man chugged 17 cases of beers. This is what happened to his to his kidneys. <laughs> Some point wait, what? But I need more evidence before I can enter. What are you talking about? I wasn't paying attention. I've been getting those in my recommended nonstop. I watched one yesterday. A man drank eight liters of coffee. This is what happened to his kidneys. He got permanent brain damage from thinking eight liters of coffee, this guy. I don't know if the stories are real. I think they're just like Detective, theoretical stories. Meet me in the woods by your house. I need you to hurry over here right now. All right, he got permanent kidney damage, not brain damage. Uh, because apparently the kidney doesn't regenerate when it gets damaged. <clears throat> Did you know the reason that you get a headache if you don't drink coffee? Is because when you drink... What was it? When you drink coffee, your blood vessels get constricted in your brain. It's 3 a.m. by the way, it's the spooky hour. So if you don't drink coffee for a while, your blood vessels get bigger which means that there suddenly has to be like there has to be more blood to your brain to get a headache because the like the blood is not transporting enough something like that i made this up i watched it yesterday the guy's a doctor he knows what he's talking about i hope so otherwise i'm getting told lies forever i think so when you drink coffee the blood the the blood vessels constrict like they get smaller which seems unhealthy, but also if you drink too much coffee, you get like adrenaline shock or something. You get like your your kidneys start making adrenaline. What the fuck? Oh god, is there is, te is Texas Chainsaw Massacres happening out here? Was that a chainsaw? What the fuck? Leatherface is coming after us. Uh, this is a spooky place. I really should not be out here. Oh, okay. Take a sip of coffee. I mean, I don't think it's... I think it's... Caffeine is only a pro... Oh, come on! What the hell? I'm, is that Tony? Oh my god, it's Tony. I was wrong. I was very wrong. It's Tony? Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's faking it. Tony, my guy. Rest in peace, Tony. The crow killer fingerprint could still be on here. I need to take this to the station. How about you did that like 17 years ago? I'm going to find him tonight. When the fingerprints were on the knife. Like there was the knife before that you didn't even take fingerprints for kill him yeah 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 we're gonna do the freaking seven <laughs> dilemma where we either have to kill can I i'm not taking a photo of this i'm just leaving this here i'm just leaving the fucking hanging body of my colleague in the middle of a forest are you serious okay then <laughs> yeah what happened by the way so I started chugging a bunch of beers. Then it said we they you ignored the intervention. Then Tony died. And now what is happening exactly? This game requires too much attention for my stupid brain. It's going all over the place. Maybe I'm the killer. 
Maybe that's the twist. I need to compare the current evidence files with the fingerprints on the knife. This is true Shadows of Doubt style over here. You guys should have been doing this from the very beginning. Wait, I could just enter the restroom. My new sniper, thank you for the 30. Um, okay. They just built this whole restroom. They wanted to show it off. That's it. That's all. <laughs> okay. Then. Why is there no... Is this like a thing that actually happens, by the way? I've never seen a bathroom that doesn't have dividers between the pissers like this. Like, what the hell, man? You're just looking at someone else's penis while you're, like, <laughs> taking a leak? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. It happens? Really? You know it would be actual, actual psycho behavior if you have a toilet like that? Is you like go stand next to someone else? You're like that's like social terrorism, man. Like you should try and stay as far apart as possible. <laughs> that would be fucked up. Just don't look. I mean, you're looking down. You guys truck in a helicopter aiming your piss while not looking down. Uh, enter forensic lab. Here we go. This door is locked. I don't have any access to the laboratory key. What is this hallway, by the way? The emptiest police. Pick the lock? I am totally, I am the killer. This explains everything. This explains why I've been breaking into everything the whole time, because I am the murderer. I'm not doing actual police work. I am just, this doesn't make sense. It said evidence room? Evidence files? Oh, I thought it said lab or forensic lab. Equip for forensic brush. Here we go. Oh my god, that's a lot of evidence. There must be so much coke in here. Could have a real party. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Why is there just one box? <laughs> Unlocked. Someone come out of the box and run away? Here. There we go. Add tools. Unpack. <laughs> Unpack. Place new evidence. Brush fingerprints. Compare. This is actually Shadows of Doubt, man. It's not the same fingerprint. It's not the same. Completely different fingerprints. This is a weird fingerprint. There's two different fingerprints. Carlos either got it wrong or there's two people involved. Hmm, leave the police station. I'm gonna get killed now. It's time for me to die. Uh oh, we got fingerprints, guys. Literally. There's someone in here, man. I'm gonna get murdered. Time to leave. Leave, leave, leave. Run! Why is there no one in the police? Oh, hi. Meet me in the house. I am not going to, I am going to do this, but I shouldn't do this. That's, <laughs> Cause I'm gonna get killed. This is like the same thing that happened to every time or to every other person every time where they get like a little note and then they go somewhere and then they get killed. You idiot. I mean, I guess we're going, but this doesn't seem very smart. I need to check the evidence board in my office. Okay, we're not going. We're actually being smart for once. What, is, where's this going? There's gotta be some major plot twist. What if it's Bill? What if Kevin's the killer? Wait a minute. Maybe Kevin, maybe the story is that Kevin became a serial killer to try and get his dad's attention or something. Like, that would be so stupid. <laughs> it's Kevin and me. Oh my God. It's my wife and my son, of course. Okay, evidence board. Where's my evidence board? Is that right? 
Is it in my... Wait. Is it on the couch? I thought you said that there was like one of those boards. Or oh, it's probably in this room. Yes, office. That would be a whole... Yeah, that would be an interesting story. The family from Texas Chainsaw Massacre is actually me. Head to plants. Look at that. Beautiful. Screenshot. Love boards like this. Five die. This is what the note meant by the house in the woods. I couldn't enter the house a few years ago because I didn't have enough evidence. Now I don't care anymore. I will find him there. What is that photo? What is that photo? Kill him, kill him. What the fuck? Is a crow. I don't know what that photo is. Like, yeah, this music is kind of trippy, man. Tell him, Brad, thank you for the sub. Yeah, why would you go into that house? I mean, the only reason you would go into that house if you, if you were in a horror game or a horror movie and you're making the worst decisions possible. I don't even think we're a cop. I think this is, a, I mean, I guess we are a cop because we were working together. This has nothing to do with your job anymore. You're doing this in your fucking spare time every single day. I can't take this anymore. I want a divorce. Okay, maybe she's not the killer. Maybe she's just a normal person. Feels bad, man. Evan's gonna hate us. I mean, he already does. I wonder. I I feel like we are the, us being the killer would be so random. Like it would be very strange. But maybe they'll explain it if that ends up being the case. I don't know. What the fuck is this house in the middle of nowhere? This is the house you go to in that one puppet combo game I never finished. Please still. Is please the farmhouse? Granny's house? Of course. I don't want to go to Grant. <laughs> what else did I expect besides a long, empty hallway that is far too big? Second, so this is not the house. Like, you see what I'm talking about, though? Like, why you go into a house? Wait, what? And it's like a hundred times bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. This is my house for the next two years, exactly. When I was down, he left me. Okay, it's the code. But I didn't give up, even though it was not right. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. Uh, down, left, up, right. Okay, I get it. <laughs> down, left, <laughs> up, right. Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> down, left. Here we go. Down. Left. Up, right. Boom. <laughs> that was it. That was the easiest puzzle of my entire life. How many loading streets? Is the um what the fuck? This person meets the description of the original cro cro killer. The blood on him is bl brown and dry. He's been dead before Carlos and Tony were even murdered. There's someone else in this house who is copying the Crow Killer's trademark. Um, it's a copycat. It's me. It's me. I. It's. It's Kevin. <laughs> it's fucking Kevin, dude. I'm like, I can't believe anything at this point. 
Uber driver. Um, this is this super barricaded. They grabbed the the three different furniture in this room and put it in the same space. What could I possibly do? Let's unscrew this real quick. And thank you very much. Enter vent. That's pretty sus. You shouldn't do that. I don't think I can ever look at a vent the same way again and for the rest of my life. Like, when I'm an old grandpa and there's like a movie that like involves someone going going into a vent, I'm gonna be like, that's pretty sus. And my, my grandson's gonna be like, grandpa, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why are you saying that every time? <laughs> I can't wait for all the memes that we're not gonna understand because we're too dang old and the kids are gonna be like completely memed up. Oh, oh my. Uh-oh. He's gonna say, okay, Zoomer. <laughs> exactly. What is happening? I was dying. Oh, God. You are missing like by a hair, man. Literally just walking into this knife. The fuck? You stabby. This seems very dangerous. How is he even stabbing through this like metal vent? It's the cook. <laughs> He's gonna cook us, man. This is the longest, like, everything in this game has such a stupid scale. Like, I really enjoy the game, don't get me wrong. But, like, you, you realize how long we were in this fucking vent for with, like, no, no grate or anything. Like, this whole vent shaft is just here for no reason. Like, it's not ventilating any rooms. There's no openings at all. This huge-ass vent. Here we go, the first... What's gonna happen? I need to know, man. Oh, of course, it's another empty hallway. What else did I expect? This, this house is not real. <laughs> There's definitely, like, I'm, I'm insane. I feel like it almost has to be that I'm the killer now, because otherwise, like, these environments can't be real. I must be going insane. Like, I feel like this is done on purpose. Like, I feel like these this long hallway m makes no sense on purpose. Like, we should have known it from the beginning. King Kingsley Lassie, thank you for the 17. I Kill him. I can't move. I'm moving. I can't move. Oh! I didn't realize I had a gun. I didn't realize I had a gun out. I just clicked the mouse and I sh What? Excuse me, why did they just put this on the screen? <laughs> I just... <laughs> it was Kevin. <laughs> what is this? It makes no fucking sense, brother. <laughs> what is going on, dude? Suicide by dad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is not funny, but the, just the way that transition worked was very funny to me. Speak to your son. Was it worth it? This fucking case. But your stupid job for me, for mom. I'm glad I made a difference at least. This guy is just crazy. For the grace of Tony and Carlos, I finally made you understand the pain you made us feel. Just for the prize? All of this is your fault. Fuck you, Dad. Fuck you too, son. <laughs> Sorry, this is not funny. Inspect the body. It's just that the game is like perfectly leaning into my jokes, even though it's not a funny game at all. <laughs> like it's it's doing all these throwbacks. Like pills? We called it though. I mean, we said like seven different people were the killer. What? Am I just gonna leave? Goodbye? Not take a photo or anything? 
Kevin, this is what happens if you don't raise your children. They go crazy. What have I done? I can't believe they said suicide by cop. No, suicide by dad. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You didn't have to say that. <laughs> like, just this guilt, guilt, in case you didn't realize. It was a mimic. So, wait. Let me get this straight. So, what happened here is... Kevin, or, so the serial killer murdered one person. We got super obsessed with the case, or maybe they killed a few more. We got super obsessed with getting him. And then Kevin killed the serial killer. And instead of going like, hey dad, I solved your case for you. Now you can be my dad again. He went like, I'll fucking show him. I'm gonna be the serial killer now, motherfucker. And he became the serial killer? Why didn't he just go like, hey, I solved your case. It's it's fine. It's over now. Like, it doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe then dad will pay attention. I mean, the dad was just obsessed with this one case. It seemed like besides that, it was fine. The case has been solved. Yet I wish I never got involved. If Tony just did his... I killed my only son. Jesus. I became too obsessed with this case. I'm resigning. You would have gotten fired anyway. Your body cam captured all this shit. 24 hours later. I guess they didn't have body cams at this time, huh? <laughs> this is hey, a little old. I just saw your resignation letter. I'm sad to see you go. But I understand, after everything that just happened. We're all gonna miss you a lot. Hey, when you're at the station to leave your equipment, meet me in the interrogation room. I have some questions about what just happened. I'll see you there. Over. <laughs> CJ again. Sorry, CJ. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> Are we gonna get killed here? Is there gonna be a double plot twist? So... Yeah. It's like, why did Kevin kill the killer and then not like inform the police about that? I just don't get it. Like, how did he, so how did Kevin solve the serial killer case if like we couldn't do that? Like Kevin is the, ins Kevin is an insane policeman. Is that what's happening? Like he, he's better at detective work than we are. He's too big brain. He said we have to go to the interrogation office, right? He had a better gaming chair. Hi there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. <laughs> This <laughs> fucking CJ, they make it look like him too. Oh man. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> All right. Thomas. I just have a few quick questions for you. I'm ready for it. Do you know why your son decided to steal the Crow Killer's trademark, specifically for the killings of Carlos and Tony? He wanted to get my attention. He knew that I would be even more obsessed with the case after you killed my two best friends. We copied the original Crow Killer's trademark before killing Carlos and Tony to target my interest directly. Do you know what drove him to the point of murder and suicide? I can't say that on YouTube. Yes, I do. He hated me because of my obsession with this case. And he had nothing to lose, knowing that I wouldn't hesitate to pull the trigger after everything leading up to that moment. His way of getting payback before was making sure I felt the guilt of killing my own son in the line of duty. And he got what he wanted. I see. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Take care, man. Take care, man. And they're not gonna, like... I mean, I guess it was a serial killer, so the fact that we shot him wasn't too weird. Prepare to visit son's graveyard. 
I am mildly confused about the plot of this game. But that is mostly just because if you think about the minor details, it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Kevin was the killer, yes. Uh, wait. Did we bury him in our own backyard? Or, oh, we were pre just preparing, I see. Now we are gonna become the crow killer. <laughs> Let me guess. That would be so fucking stupid. Bad bouquet of flowers. Um, that's it. That's all we do. We don't go to Kevin. I've never seen Kevin's room. We need to go in there. Okay, that's it. We got the flowers. To be continued. It's gonna be like, the end! Question mark? Like, that's... <laughs> this is very, like, a very cool idea, though. Having a, like, a murder investigation horror game. I haven't played many of those where you like actually do some like minor investigation. Like obviously it's scripted, right? It's not like Shadows of Doubt where it's just procedurally generated. But still, the cycle will repeat. Yeah, I wonder what they're go where they're going with this. Like there's obviously gonna be one more plot twist, but I don't know if it's gonna be like, we're gonna become the serial killer or like maybe Linda will become the serial killer. I don't know. Freya, Amy. They freaking put their names on the grave in the same font that I write like insane on my YouTube titles, dude. That doesn't feel fitting. <laughs> or my YouTube thumbnails. Kevin. Why does Kevin the only one with a date? Excuse me? Wait. He was 18? Excuse me? Math? What the fuck? Nineteen? No? Eighteen, right? I love you, son. You mean fuck you, son? I'm just kidding. Hey there. Look. What the fuck? I understand you must feel like complete shit after everything. But what happened is not your fault. Kevin changed a lot after the divorce. He blamed everything on you. He became violent, very violent. But it took me a long time to realize I was in the wrong. My frustrations made me forget the main reason why you wanted to solve this case so badly. You were trying to protect us, to make us feel safe. I regret so many things. Excuse me, what, where I are they going with this moral of the story? Understanding. I regret not getting Kevin the help he needed. I regret the divorce. What the f this feels not... I realize now how lucky I was to have someone that made me feel safe and protected. I took it all for granted. What I'm trying to say is, I understand now. I miss you so much. Please. Can we start over again? Um... Oh wait, the moral of the story is... You can basically abandon your children for years at a time not take care of them at all and you're the good guy in the end that doesn't feel like a good moral of the story i don't agree with this, this goofy moral. ass doctor better hurry up with linda's ultrasound <laughs> this feels weird the as anticipation fuck. is killing me but has ever you should said be here any second now you said that like 20 minutes ago 32 minutes ago according to my watch y'all got watches I don't even have a second pair of underwear. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. <laughs> Max noises. <laughs> oh, man. New baby? I'll go. We've got the result from Linda Sopa Sound. Hi. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna be the father of two little boys. Who? <gasps> That's too many. 
Oh god. Two serial killers? I thought one serial killer was good enough. This time I was gonna do better as a father. I mean, okay, they're going was gonna be there for them okay okay all right that's at least they're doing that of part of the story as well and i knew from the start that i was gonna name our kids after those two tony and carlos carlos and tony okay other way around i see kevin one and kevin two <laughs> that's <laughs> Fucking bitch Tony and fucking bitch Carlos. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so okay. Obviously, I'm sorry if you were watching this on YouTube and you were hoping for me to take it 100% seriously. Because I obviously didn't. I like the game. That was a good game. Um, like, I like the... Also, fucking Carlos is sitting right there, by the way. I like that it was this, like, murder investigation... Oh, and Tony is standing right there. This murder investigation game. Uh, it's just that it was, like... I don't know. It doesn't make it doesn't make much sense that Kevin killed the crow killer and then decided to become the killer instead of just like telling, "Hey dad, I guess he was already mad at his dad at that point, so he didn't care anymore like he didn't want to help um help his dad. He just wanted to make him or like kill his friends." It seems it seems pretty insane like like obviously kevin was not uh based on a conversation during new year's eve obviously kevin wasn't fully there but still even then it seems like kind of a completely unhinged insane thing to do um and i don't really get the moral of the ending that felt a little icky to me i don't know maybe i'm reading it wrong but the fact that the ending is basically like Linda coming to the main character and going like, I was wrong the whole time. Every time you abandoned me, I should have just accepted the abandonment. And I should have just like t taken care of our child all by myself. And I should have, ex that doesn't feel like that should be the moral of the story. Like I know they're at the end trying to spin it into like they became happy again. Like that's, they were going for like a, let's make a happy ending here. I just feel like you got to be careful with these things. Cause like that feels like a weird type of victim blaming that I don't feel comfortable with. But anyway, besides that. Uh, it was obviously uh, a fun experience and we had some laughs as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to the next game by this developer, which by the way, on the itch.io page, it says that the developer is apparently only 16 years old at the time of making the shopping list. He was 15 years old. So this is incredibly impressive. Let me not like forget about that i know i had some criticism but that was only mostly about the story i like the way the game functions i like the simple puzzles i like the um the the style that they have here the detective so yeah uh, the, the detective horror game i've not not really ever seen that and i've played like thousands of horror games so yeah that is that's good stuff and apparent especially considering uh this is a free game made by a 16 year old it's just overall very very impressive so yeah big props to the dev of this game and i hope you enjoyed watching it over on youtube as well let me know what you think if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it dislike it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you could join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or click the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye